Hey guys, and welcome back to our La Harve Athletic Club FM 17 save. Here we are in the third round of the Coupe de la Liga against recently promoted side Dijon FCO. Uh, we are on the road. Um, I'm, I'm curious to sort of see how we sort of fit in against... Uh, a newly promoted sort of League One side that's that's trying to hold on. Um, for comparison's sake, let's do a. Where are they? So they're fourteenth, ten points on ten games. Um, in there. So okay, they're hanging on. Um, we'll do this because it's easier. As you can see, we are currently top of the league on goal differential. We are three points um, up on third, the promotion playoff spot, and four on top of uh, fourth place uh, on there. We've had a excellent month. Um, so we'll recap. So after our 4-2 Derby de Normandie win uh, on the road against Racing Club de Lens, we came home uh, and blanked AC Ajaxio 3-0 in there. Uh, Tariq with a brace, which you'll notice a lot in these recent games, and Alamami Gori getting on the scorecard. Um, I don't know if I'd call this a dominant performance, but we were we were certainly strong all over the place uh, on this one. Um, another three 0 at home against Borg Ambresa O one. Um, Gambert puts two in, and Cedric Gambon puts one in. Unfortunately, he gets injured with a nasty hip injury, and he's down for about three months. Um, this one, I think, was more pure domination. If I had to to throw a title on it. Um, we then went on the road and took on Stade de Reims. Uh, on this one, um, again, we were very in control. Um, they pulled one back a little late and we just cleaned things up. But again, complete and utter control of this match on the road, um, which was a little surprising, um, to say the least. We had a good opportunity at home to go top of the league by two points. Unfortunately, we went down to 10 men because Fairland Mendy uh, decided that, that he was going to pick up two cards, two yellow cards in 30 minutes. Uh, and unfortunately, we, we did everything we could to hang on in, in a uh, nil-nil draw uh, on this one. So we, we went top of the table on goal differential. I would have loved to have put some points in there and built a little bit of uh, a buffer, but... We did what we could. Um, still a lot of games to play. Um, we are about a third into the season. Um, this is another long league like the, the, the English Championship. There's like, I think, 38 games um, in League Two. So it is a slog. Um, but, you know, 26 points on, on 13 games. Um, so, you know, we're averaging two points a game, which is pretty damn good. Um, so if we could keep this up all season, I think we'd be in absolutely fantastic shape for promotion. Um, I'm sure we're going to tail off a little bit in here, but, um, you know, we'll see what we can do. So that's it. Um, we'll take a look here quickly. So Coupe de la Liga, um, just a quick... Uh, we got through Valenciennes FC 2-1 in our last uh, round on this one. So we are in now with the Ligue 1 side. Um, uh, Toulouse beats out Marseille 3-1. Bordeaux goes out to um, our Ligue 1 rival, Caen, uh, in penalties. And then uh, Nancy Lorraine beats FC Nantes 3-1. Uh, the rest of the game's uh, going on. Uh, at the same time now. So, fingers crossed. Um, scary part is we have a ton of injuries and we're not anywhere near the top um, on this one. So, PSG have been running the table for a few years uh, in this one. I don't think this is the year we... No, oh, he's suspended and he's injured. So, that's just a twofer. Um, well, we can stack a ton of guys on the bench. Um... I want to see Svensson play. Shoot. I want to see Gory get in. 
and play. He gets himself hurt all the goddamn time. It's really starting to get a little old. I have too many left wingers at this point. That's sort of my problem. But okay, well, we'll go ahead with this particular squad. So we'll make a couple of adjustments. I can't make too many adjustments. This one has the same sort of rules. I forget what English competition has it where you, you, you can only change so many guys they have to have played in um yeah in uh in recent competitions and that so you know we'll do what we can here. Uh, the nice part is we get a couple of more substitutes uh versus the standard league play which is always appreciated but um you know take it for what it's worth. So let's see what we can do here. Um, like I said, Dijon is a recently promoted side into Ligue 1. Um, so it, it should be a good benchmark for, you know, their 14th. So it's a good benchmark for that lower, you know, bottom third of the table in Ligue 1. So if we do manage to keep ourselves rolling where we're at and we end up in some sort of a promotion-like conversation, uh, matches like this will kind of tell us where the squad we have at the moment, you know, admittedly, these, you know, they're not going to be out here playing the, the, their full strength, but, um, you know, if we can kind of get a sense of, yeah, like we're not miles off here, um, that at least gives me some idea what we're going to need to do. You know, if we're, if we're about to get the absolute bejesus battered out of us, um, you know, that's a wholly different summer re you know, summer program if we go up versus, you know, sort of tooling ourselves slowly but surely um, through the same sort of strategy uh, on there. I'm I'm expecting if we do go up, we're going to have to, we're going to recruit youth to get into the conveyor system that'll have to, you know, that'll be a little more longer term project. We're going to have to do sort of an immediate um, experience plus youth sort of, oh, don't get, don't get a red. Yeah, we're starting to pick up a lot more cards. Um, but we're going to need to do sort of a, a combo um, situation to kind of set a, a base and, and kind of hold firm in the next division. Um, so we'll we'll see how all that goes. But, you know, like I said, this is an interesting match just to kind of see how we stack up against bigger, angrier competition here. Um, this this sort of mid step where we're expecting to be a, a club that you know for at least some period of time while we're getting the right balance of of youth and experience and that into the club um, we may end up sort of that seesaw up you know let me draw where you can see it that seesaw up and down um, type mode where you know we're we're settling things in so we can may go up and we may go down and we may go back up um, but that's okay unless the board doesn't want it and they fire me but that's an entirely different situation. But we're having the better of this one, even though we're on the road. We're 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 not having the better of the possessions. Uh, picked up an injury, twisted ankle. I, this is most assuredly broken in the game. I, I can't go thirty seconds without injuries. It's it's near, um, it's near constant. Which, to be totally honest, is really starting to get, um, friggin' annoying. Uh, on this, that that the injury bug is just absolutely ridiculous in this, and once it hits a guy, it seems to plague him over and over again. I'm 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 not doing anything different than 16 in that sense. I'm I'm being a lot more diligent about players, you know, getting players through the reserves and you know, fifth, you know, doing the 30 minute, 45, 60, 90s, you know, really trying to slowly reintegrate them to a point before they're ready to play in the first team. And eh, it just doesn't seem to make a difference what I do that, that they just, um, let's do this. They just do uh, want to seem to, to be able to stay healthy, which um, frankly is starting to get annoying. Ooh. Good opportunity gone to waste there. Let's see if this changes our, Ooh, another good opportunity gone to waste. Um, let's see if this retained possession sort of changes the feel of what's going on here. Um, 
and see if we, we adjust our stat stance in the match here. Control the ball a little bit better. We seem to be much, you know, when we control the ball, we seem to be my, a much happier squad. What the hell is he flashing for there? Um, we seem to be by far a much happier squad. Um, a lot more settled, a lot more stable. Um, we're certainly punishing the, you know, we're certainly putting the ball on frame here. But we're not doing anything with it, which is disappointing. Hmm. That's disappointing. Well, we're certainly playing our way back into the match here, which I'm happy about. Not by much, but we're, we're starting to play our way back in. Whoa. Hmm. Nothing doing yet. Well, another corner. Tips it over. We'll take another corner. We're certainly we're certainly starting to, to apply better pressure here, that's for certain. So I'm pleased with I'm I'm pleased with how we're playing. I mean we're not we're certainly not great. We're we're not lighting the world on fire here. But we're um, we're certainly holding our own, you know, for two mediocre sides. We, we are certainly much more in control of what's going on out here today. Much more in control of what's going on out here today. But we're still not able to do anything of any real value here heading into the half. Don't know why we just decided to walk away from that, but okay. I've noticed players do that. They'll start to like make up their mind to go chase something and then just sort of stop or wander into the pick daisies or whatever it is that they're looking at, you know, whatever shiny object the first row flashes at them. Well, we've got a dangerous free kick here. What's he going to do? Yellow card. Okay, well, dangerous free kick. And we do bunk with it. Because that's what we do. Svensson's playing like junk, so let's get him off. And the midfield could use a little spark, so we'll make our moves here. We will yell at them. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. I'm... I'm annoyed that we're putting things on frame and just not doing anything. We're just, I don't know. The flow's not right. That's the best I can put it. The flow is just not right. We need to, uh, okay. Anybody see that little weird bounce there? That was some serious English on that ball. I was going wide and just sort of bounced and went straight at the keeper. I'm impressed that physics doesn't seem to work. One man to beat. Gilbert. Booyah. Buries that home. Gilsane Gimbert on a nice two-on-one break. Buries that bad boy in there. And Acha say, as they say, is up one nothing over Dijon. Nicely done. Solid finish. Solid finish. And we are in good shape, rocking and rolling. And of course, we're going to get another injury because that's just how this particular ship rolls. Well, too bad, son. Stay out there. I've now got both left backs injured. 
because that's just how FM17 rolls. Injury goddamn city. Because <sighs> it be broke in that respect. Well, we certainly woke up all of a sudden. Um, for as much a little rough that this is a one nil. I mean, we're we're certainly putting we're certainly taking it to them. Um, I don't like our I, I I'm disappointed with our conversion ratios here in that's offsides as gruesomely offsides. Um, our conversion ratio is just not where it needs to be. I mean, we're scoring goals. We 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 clearly have goals in us. Um, but we're just, you know, in matches like this, right? We put 10 on target and we have one in the back of the net at an offside attempt, which doesn't even count in that. So, um, yeah, we need, we need to start turning over, um, goals better. Now, how exactly we do that, ooh, you know, that's a different question. I think that's a, that's a question for the summer. Um, I'm not super disappointed in it per se, but it's just not something that thrills me. Um, we definitely put up, when we put up a wall though, we certainly do put up a wall. Um, we're solidifying nicely at the back. I'm, I'm actually really happy with what we've got going on defensively. Um, not so excited about the fact that I'm going to play Russian roulette here with left backs for a couple of games, but you know, hopefully this isn't super serious and I get him back because I'm, Desperately short left backs all of a sudden. Desperately short left backs. Okay, we are cruising on the break here. And why are you letting off the steam? Why did he slow down? That didn't make any sense whatsoever. You are one on none. Run like you stole it, my friend. Run like you stole it. Okay. Ooh, nice move. Uh, he just doesn't have the wheels. It's like stuff like that's really odd where they don't do anything. They're clearly beat. They all of a sudden gain like near flash like speed and catch up and do something really stupid. So I don't quite understand how that works in the match engine, but. Perhaps I'm not supposed to understand how that works in the match engine. But, well, this is definitely a good sign. Um, I, I feel good that we can at least take on lower sides in League One or League One. Um, we certainly seem to be at least, you know, we're, we've gone on the road, at least gone and taken on one side pretty effectively here. So, um, this gives me some level of confidence, you know, one, if we finish in third and we have to go and fight, oh my God, a goddamn another one. This is starting to get ridiculous, um, at, at an almost unreal level, but at least this gives me some level of confidence in what we got going on, um, which is really what I'm after, but it would be really sweet if the friggin' ref blew his whistle because I want this shit to be over with. I can't take any more injuries out here. Uh, to say the least, I cannot take any more friggin' injuries out here. Come on. Blow the friggin' whistle, dude. Just blow it. Whistle, dude. You. With the, you. With the whistle. Blow it. This is just insane. Come on. We're not even paying any attention anymore. There we go. Yeah, he can't come off. Him and his bruised ass head. Okay, that was a nice victory. I'm a little concerned here. How bad is this? So we win in the third round. Combra is out five to eight days. Gory is out... Three to four weeks. His busted head is out. Great. And we are playing a game in three days. Sweet. Okay. Well, there we are uh, at the end. That one was solid one. Um, I think we're going to stretch things out 
for a mid-table battle uh, against Gazalek Ajaxio as we head into hmm. Is there more? No, there's no more interesting one there. I don't want to chop this up because we have the winter break. So, you know what? I think we'll come into Stad Livois MFC. We'll then run out Ajaxio Orleans, uh, the Coupe de la Liga fourth round, and Strasbourg Alsace before we hit the winter break uh, on that. So, uh, that's it for this particular episode, guys. If you like what we've got, do please leave a like on the video. If you got any comments, thoughts, pronunciation fixes, you name it, do send me a comment. I'll be more than happy to get back to you. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. So, bye now.